situation, we may think that if we appear puzzled and confused to others, they will let us off the hook. Here's an example. We may say we just don't understand the question or the assignment. Then we don't pay attention when somebody tries to help us out. So again, we're doing everything again. We're rationalizing, we're blaming, we're confusing. And then what happens? We forget about the values, the stuff that's really important to us. I got a son and a daughter. I have my, my daughter when I was 13, I have my son when I was 14. I, I, to me, maybe I was selfish, but I loved and I valued them enough to be out there slinging the drugs that I was slinging to support them. Because nobody was to hire no criminals. Nobody wanna, was it, well, hire no convicted felonies. Now you not, they can't ask about your conviction. So, you know, people did what they did because of the jobs. Like I said, you could say it's an excuse, but the fact of the matter is, it was real. It was hard for you to get a job back then. Now, when I went out there easier, like I said, it's, it's easy to get a job out there. Now, people should have no excuse. So when people are gonna go out, you're gonna to have to value, first and foremost, because if you forget, your freedom. And I hear that all the time. Within my six years of working in, in prison, I hear the freedom. And people fight so hard to get out of here. So what we got to do is we got to think differently. And we got to change the way we think. Change is always going to end up with us. We're going to have to want it, whether we perceive it as we need it. Like it's a lifeline. Something got to change. Everybody hits rock bottom. And I mean, I've been going through this. I've been over 32 years. Off and on, you know, with substance abuse. Yeah, I mean, you know, it just just didn't have no components like this uh -huh. facilitation available in the past. You know, back then, well, I'm sure I wouldn't be here today. I was in a lot of pain, so I kind of like got away as like medicating, self-medicating, not realizing that the underlying facts are yet to be revealed, and that I was suffering from addiction. Right. But now that this this wonderful place is being erected, now I can say that I'm like. I'm like this now, you know, I'm like, I'm focused. So what I'm saying is, I say all that in conclusion to say that I'm prepared to come upon release. I'm preparing about reintegrating back into this, investing 2.0, which is to uh, strive for the certified alcohol and drug counselor. Okay. Because I, I believe that I have a, a very riveting, compelling, and truthful testimony to my life that would keep me green, keep me in the soldier, keep me stable, keep me functioning. So what we've been talking about is majority of the time is we value our family probably the most, right? And everybody's goal in here, in here is what? Get home, we go back to our family, right? But what happens is there's always these roadblocks that get in the way. Because although I was in incarcerated, I still had those behaviors, you know, picking with people and stuff like that. But right. I learned that through being, how you say, uh, not influenced with drugs and that type of thinking, I learned to deal with people better, talk with people. Now I interact with everybody. I help the guys here with the law. Uh, I help myself. You know, I gave back a lot of time, so, you know, I, I learned a lot. I've been involved in a lot of stuff. I ain't never learned as much stuff as I learned here. I just sit back and listen to people say that, it, like, the program ain't doing this and the program ain't doing that, but you got to want to change for yourself, and you got to you gotta recognize the changes that you got to make before you really, if you, if you don't know what you got to change, you're not going to be successful. So at, at the end of the day, we're still, in, we're still incarcerated. Like, it's not a, a program on the streets. We're still in jail. So for them to put a program like this in jail, it, it helps. We learn a lot of stuff. I mean, you take what you, you, you take, you take what they give you. Some stuff ain't for you, some stuff you need to know. I mean, so like he was talking about values. A lot, a lot of us say we value a lot of stuff that we do, that we think we value. We say, we, we try to say, oh yeah, I'm doing this because I got a daughter, I'm doing this because I got a son, or I got to pay bills, or 
I'm doing this so I don't have to live on the streets. But we don't really value our families if we keep doing the same thing. We got to value ourselves. Like cognitively, we have to think different. We have to change our whole thing, our own way of thinking. Now having knowledge of a lot of stuff about certain feelings, certain emotions I, that I have. I mean, certain reasons why I do certain stuff from the childhood. I mean, I was abandoned when I was three years old, so maybe that, like, I never knew a lot of stuff I, that I know now could bring me here today, you know what I'm saying? Put me in this situation. So we all got to take what we can get out of. Like, we all know at the end of the day, if we want to change or we don't. We know we here just to be here for certain reasons and we know if not, I know I'm here because I really want to change. And I don't got to, I mean, like, I'm always be the person I am, but I want to change. I want to do things different. I mean, before it's too late, that's not fake. That's all, that's all I got to say.